overall better for the environment? They are better for the environment because they are more energy efficient. They use the energy more, like, basically wisely. They don't burn fossil fuels, and as we know, fossil fuels, we're running out of them, and they are not good for the environment. So that's not something that's good. Um, for cars like Fiskars, it with solar powers on so solar panels on the top of them. We have an unlimited supply of sunlight for a long, long time. So that would be so solar powered cars are awesome. Although they can be expensive and the batteries are hard to recycle. They are better for the environment and do a lot more help for the earth. They are more high tech. They can help us advance in technology such as the Tesla has self-driving now, and the Volt, um, the Chevy, Chevy Volt, um, tracks how much energy you are using by stepping on the gas and letting go. And so much other cars, like I said, the Fisker, but they sadly went out of business. They had solar panels on top of one of them called the Fisker Karma. And um, so electric cars are very important. They can show us the limits of technology. Basically, and I don't know if you've seen, but the Tesla Model X has about a 11-inch screen in the middle of it, as about a dashboard technology. So let's go back to fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, as we all know, are not good for the environment. And with the world getting more overpopulated and warmer by global warming, fossil fuels and polluting is not good for the environment. So by then. We will want to do more um, um, electric cars, although they can pollute because of coal, not nearly as much, especially with solar powered cars or even wind powered cars, or we can use bicycles or anything. But electric cars are just something so much better than regular cars. And it's not and it's not like they're challenged, like they're not as fast, or they can't go as far. Some electric cars coming out, and some in the past, right now, can go a range of about 260 miles on one charge. And it's easy because they can charge overnight. And when they charge overnight, it's not like you're going to secretly go out and out over and over and over again during the night. So by the morning, you should have almost 260 miles on a full charge in your car. And especially with new cars coming out from all different types of um, brands like Toyota, BMW, those are hybrids, some of them, which are kind of like um, kind of half and half gas and um, electric. And then we have Chevy coming out with the new Bolt and Tesla coming out with their new Model X and their new cheapest model. And that's coming out soon, in 2017. But overall, these are all better for the environment than others. So that's why they're, they're better. So solar panels are pretty good for cars. It sounds like it should work, and it does. Because the solar panels just go on top of the car where the sun shines down, charges the car, holds it in the battery, and then you get 200, mi 200 miles on it. And then, like for Tesla, there's charging points around the wor around the United States where you can charge your car, so you can um, go on long journeys and others instead of having to only have certain limits. And that's how the electric um, car business is growing and growing. They've had electric cars in the past, such as the EV1, I think I forgot what its name was in she for Chevrolet, a GM. <coughs> Chevrolet in 1999, around there, but it was doing so well. It was perfect for the environment, it was electric, and it was a pretty good car until something happened where the oil and gas companies got mad and they ran them out of business. And they don't pollute, I'm going back to this again, they don't pollute at all. They don't burn gasoline out of the exhaust pipes. They just run on electricity, just like in your house, just like when you're charging your phone. 
It's a lot easier than driving a gas car. You don't have to go to these public gas stations. You can charge it in your own home. I, my dad has an electric car in Volt, and it works well. We can just charge it in our garage, and it gets over. It's not a complete 200 mile like a Tesla or Fisker or Volt coming out. It's about 40 miles on electricity, and the rest is gas. But he can still drive just on electricity for a while, and then charge it overnight. So it does, and it works really well. And you don't always have to get the chargers that the company supply you. Like you can get an HG one or anything. Um, it can help the disabled with some things. Like Tesla has just come out with their self-driving car which can't completely do the most self-driving, but it can still. It's a self-driving car. You should be surprised about that, and especially because it's an electric car. You would think that the first self-driving car might be a different car, such as a gas car or a really fancy car, but no, it's, it's just a regular Tesla made here in the USA, so that's nice. Um, they are making a lot of new ones that are cheaper because it's hard because some electric cars can go can range from eighty thousand to a hundred thousand, like the Teslas, and Fiskers almost two hundred thousand. Um, but then Chevrolet has come out with the Bolt and Volt, which are about thirty thousand to forty thousand dollars, which are cheaper for electric cars. And then Tesla's coming out with about a thirty-five thousand dollar car in two thousand seventeen. Which, will, which you can now make reservations for. Batteries are hard to recycle though, because they are so big, but you can also get your battery like almost for free, replaced by Tesla if you have a Tesla. And like I said, they are kind of expensive, so that's the bad thing, but they are now coming out because the technology is, they've come out with it and they're doing it again. It's um, getting cheaper because of all the New technology. Um, they can show us the limits of technology, like I said. Um, the 11 inch screen in the Tesla, self driving in the Tesla. This is very important to us, and soon we might like, just be having hover cars. Um, so, let me just recap it. Electric cars are better than gas cars because, one, they are better for the environment, two, they are more energy efficient. Three, unlimited supply of sunlight for cars such as the Fiskers, although they are out of business, they're making um, different cars with solar panels. Um, can change in a short time, can charge in a short time um, overnight, and then you'll have full charge in the morning, and that's great because you don't have to go to a public gas station every once in a while. You can just charge it at your home and it's much better for the environment. Some electric cars, although this is one of the downsides, take a lot of energy to charge, so it can higher your energy bills, but overall it will be a lot cheaper than gas and um, fossil fuels in the long run, because we know that fossil fuels are running out, so that's going to be good for their environment later on. They are now getting cheaper, so that's one reason to buy an electric car. Um, you can either, there's also such as the BMW i3 coming that's out, and that is um, a lot smaller. It's more of a hatchback, and it's a hybrid. You probably should, might have seen one before. And there's also the Tesla Model X, the more family car of electric cars. It's a four, five-person seat mid SUV and the doors actually are really cool they flop up like that and so this is my TED talk and it was about electric everyone should drive electric cars thanks